we're going to explain how to enable an RSA token in KVB step-by-step. Step. One, first, you'll need to visit your nearest KVB branch. You can enable this online. Two, at the branch, request the RSA token from a bank representative. Explain that you want to enable two-factor authentication for added security. Three, they will likely ask for your identification documents. Make sure you bring your KYC documents. Know your customer. This usually includes your Aadhaar card, PAN card, and possibly others depending on your account setup. Or, once your identification is verified, the bank representative will guide you through the application process for the RSA token. They'll likely have you fill out a form. Five, after the form is submitted and approved, the bank will give you your physical RSA token. This is a small device that generates one-time passwords, OTPs. Six, now the most crucial step the bank representative will help you register your RSA token with your KVB online banking account or mobile app. They will guide you through the pairing process. This might involve entering specific codes displayed on the RSA token and confirming the details on your banking platform. Seven, carefully follow all instructions from the bank representative. Note down any important details they provide, especially if there are activation codes involved or if they give you instructions on how to reset the device in case it malfunctions. 8. Once the registration process is complete, you'll have successfully enabled your RSA token. You can then use it alongside your username and password whenever you log in to your KVB internet banking or mobile app. 9. If you face any difficulties during the process, don't hesitate to ask the bank representative for clarification. Remember, security is paramount, so understanding the process fully is key. 10. Lastly, keep your RSA token safe and secure. It is recommended that you don't share your RSA token details or the generated one-time password with anyone, even bank representatives. Losing or damaging your token may require you to visit a branch again to get a replacement.